one of the most frustrating things is uh, we were in Paris for the Paris right. talks shortly after the terrorist attack. And our press, you know, it's complicated climate change issues. And, but, you know, some of them dig into it. <laughs> but the kind of cheap headline political press just kept asking me, what's a bigger threat, ISIL or climate change? And the thing is, they know we think climate change is a bigger threat, right? But they want us to say that so that there's like a, then yeah. they can debate on cable news. Like Obama yeah. thinks climate change is bigger threat than yeah. terrorism. He doesn't get it, you know? And it's like, well, like one thing could destroy like the world, you know? Um, I mean, I said, well, they're both threats. I take them both seriously. But just the fact that it's still viewed as like a political vulnerability. satellites, but we need instruments in the water that can actually transmit real time. Uh, is anybody doing that? It's, it's not something you can do in one country. It's something we need to collaborate. We need to collaborate. Well, we need and, to collaborate. Uh, I think it's, it's manageable. This is seeing firsthand things I've read about, and I think it'll make me a more urgent advocate and hopefully a better advocate. You're, you're multitasking. No other issue. I mean, Libya doesn't stop. Yemen or Syria or whatever. I just had a conversation on the bridge of this ship with our team uh, that's working on the issue of a cessation of hostilities on Syria. My job is to keep fighting and keep working. And if I wasn't an optimist, I wouldn't be able to do this job.